Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This video will examine the gender and number of German nouns. A noun is a part of speech that names a person, place, thing, or idea. In modern English, nouns usually do not manifest any grammatical gender. The only definite article in English is the. Unlike an English noun, a German noun has a grammatical gender. It can be either masculine, feminine, or neuter. The grammatical gender can be related to the biological gender of the noun, if it has one, but usually there is no connection. The grammatical gender of a noun is seen in its definite article. Der indicates a masculine noun, die a feminine noun, and das a neuter noun. German nouns can either be singular or plural. Unlike singular nouns, plural nouns manifest no gender. The only definite article for plural nouns is die. The German noun Mann, man, has a masculine grammatical gender, so its definite article is der. In this case, the grammatical gender agrees with the biological gender of the noun. It is also important to note that all German nouns are capitalized. The German noun Tisch, table, has a masculine grammatical gender, so its definite article is der. Here the grammatical gender does not indicate any biological gender of the noun. The German noun Tür, door, has a feminine grammatical gender, so its definite article is die. The German noun Auto, car, has a neuter grammatical gender, so its definite article is das. The German noun Autos, cars, is plural, so its definite article is die. It is important to distinguish the plural definite article die from the feminine singular article die. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.